I'm doing a trial and review of the Stylebox front door fashion. So I'll tell you a little bit about what front door fashion is and then we'll jump right into all of the outfits that I received. So if you don't know what front door fashion is, it is a style box and it's not to be confused with a subscription box that you would receive monthly. With front door fashion, you can actually decide when you want to receive a box. So how it works is you go on their website and you complete a style profile and that's letting your stylist know what kind of styles you like, what you're into, are there any special pieces that you are really wanting and any specifics that you would like your stylist to know. Once you complete that style profile, your stylist will get in touch with you. And what's kind of nice about this style box is that you can actually have phone calls or if you prefer text or email, but you can be in contact with your stylist so you can make sure that you receive a box that is styled just for you. There is a hundred dollar deposit, but at the end, if you decide that you're not keeping anything, that $100 is refunded. Or if you decide to keep pieces, that $100 goes toward your purchase. Each box has about four to six items and you have five business days to return. That's a little bit of a bummer to me because sometimes when I get things in the mail, it's at least a couple of days before I can try them on. But you have five days to return if you are not keeping any of the items. This style box has some higher end, more luxury pieces than some of the other style boxes that I've done in the past. I've done Stitch Fix before, and this one definitely has probably a wider range of those higher end brands. So you can really get some quality pieces in these boxes. And particularly if you're very specific about what brands you like, and you are sure to tell your stylist the things that you're looking for. And by the way, I got three full complete looks in this box. And then I also got three dresses. I had asked my stylist to send me a couple of little black dresses. So like I said, along with the three complete looks, I also got those three dresses. Let's jump right into the first look. So this first look was comprised of a pair of jeans, a pair of leather trousers, a v-neck sweater, and a suede moto jacket. And each of these looks are really more like a collection because there are so many different pieces that can be layered or worn on their own. And with this one look or this first look, you can really get multiple outfits out of it. So the first look that I'm showing you is a pair of black denim jeans by Frame. The sweater is kind of a cream colored V-neck sweater. And that sweater is by Karen Kane. So it's a nice look altogether. Nothing really stood out particularly to me about this outfit, but I do really like the jeans. I have never tried frame jeans before and so I really like the way they fit and although they were not a petite specific size they actually fit me really well and I think they were meant to be a crop on someone who is not petite. So the first look in this outfit is just okay. And so next we move on to the leather trousers and these are by Hudson. These were not a good fit for me. One, they're too long and they were a little bit tight in the waist. I like them overall, but since they are not a petite specific size, they don't fit me well. So those will be going back. And then the next look, I put on the suede moto jacket and that is from Velvet Heart. Never heard of that brand before. I really actually like this moto jacket. I don't have anything like it in my closet currently. So so that one might be a keeper for me, we'll see. So the next look, again, several different pieces in this second look. There's a lot of versatility with the looks that she sent me. They can be worn all together or separately or mixed and matched. So I see how these looks and outfits can really go a long way. So this is a pair of white AG crop boot cut pants. And I like these two. They aren't in a petite specific size. I'm not sure why she didn't send me petite specific sizes, but I do like them and they actually fit okay. They were a little bit tight in the waist, so I'm not sure if I'll be keeping those. There were two tops included in this look. And the first one is this tank top from Liverpool. I do like the colors in this top, but the top is super duper long. There would be a ton of fabric to tuck in if I chose to keep it. It's not a petite specific size, which is probably why it's super long on me. And then the blazer, the bright 
clean blazer. I love this color, but I already have a blazer of this same color in my closet, so I'm probably not going to keep that. That is from a crew, I believe, but it is a very pretty blazer. I love this entire look, but I already kind of have some of these things in my closet. Also in this look, she included a navy v-neck cashmere sweater which I love. I love a cashmere sweater, but I already have a navy blue one probably almost exactly like this. But this is from Mini Rose, another brand that I have never purchased from before. So a lot of brands that are new to me in this box, but it's fun to try different brands and see what you like and maybe have been missing out on. Before I get into the next look, I would love it if you'd hit that like and subscribe. It really helps my small channel and I appreciate it. Okay, the next look was a little bit of a miss for me. The pants, I couldn't even <laughs> get them zipped up. They're cute, but they're not really my style. So that was a little bit of a miss for me. And then also she included this white button up blouse with this light blue v-neck sweater. She had it styled where the blouse hung out at the bottom, which is a little bit of a no for me personally or petite in general, because when you do that, it kind of cuts your proportions in half. But since I couldn't get the pants zipped up, <laughs> I kind of had to to leave it out but I just wanted to show you the outfit in its entirety not really my style like I said but I wanted to show it she also included this navy blazer, which is also from the brand Ecru. The pants are from Drew. The top is from Velvet Heart, and then the sweater is from The Line. So again, a lot of brands that I haven't purchased from before, so it is very interesting. This overall outfit just didn't work for me. It was, the sizing wasn't great, and I just didn't feel put together as much as I would like to. Before we move on to the next look, you guys leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about some of these outfits so far. And also, have you tried front door fashion? I'm really curious what your thoughts are. So leave a comment down below and then let's move on. So now we're moving into some of the dresses that she sent me. Again, I asked for some little black dresses because that's something I kind of am missing in my closet. One that's really a go-to and can be worn, you know, for events or very casual or, even when you need to look really polished. The first one is this sweater dress that has the ruffled detailing on the sleeves and also down at the bottom. It kind of looks like it has a little bit of an asymmetrical line to it at the bottom of the dress, but I wasn't sure if that was intentional or if it just didn't fit me properly. Either way, this really wasn't what I was looking for or hoping for. Don't completely love it, so I'm I think I will probably end up returning this dress. It just didn't really hit the mark for me. Okay, this next black dress totally missed the mark for me. It was kind of, um, I don't know what you call it, embroidered type texture on it and the fit was not good. I'm still swollen from my breast reduction surgery, so it was not a flattering look on me at all, and that's okay. It just wasn't my style. And I think the point is with some of these boxes that you, you know, your stylist is not going to get you perfectly on the first box. It's kind of like anything. You kind of have to work together for a while before you really understand each other. So even though this dress was a miss, you know, I was, I didn't have high expectations for her to know my exact style on the first box, but this one will definitely go back. And the last dress is a little bit of a miss as well. It's kind of on the, I don't want to say cheaper end, but the fabric was kind of a miss. It felt a little cheaper to me and it, I think it looked that way too. Also, it felt a little teenager-ish. It may not come across like that on the try-on, but it was just, it just really wasn't what I was looking for in a little black dress. So my overall thoughts on the style box, I love the concept and the idea of it. I think this style box could work really well for someone who is really doing like an overhaul in their closet or really need to replace some things or, or changing their style or maybe someone who's lost weight or even gained weight and they just really need to start over with some pieces that have a lot of functionality and versatility. This hits 
every point of that. Like I said, a lot of these pieces missed the mark for me personally, but again, I think if I go back and do another box and continue to work with the stylist, I think some of those could be improved a whole lot just by us getting to know each other. Last thing I'll say about this is that the price tag is not for the faint of heart. I did not realize how expensive some of these items are. And luckily I there wasn't a lot that I loved or that I feel I'm missing in my closet or that I have to have. So it probably is not gonna cost me very much to keep the pieces that I actually like, which right now I think are only the black jeans from Frame and then also the suede moto jacket. But again, it depends on what your goal is with this box. If you really need to overhaul, then I think it's a good way to go. But if you are just the average consumer and you're just kind of trying it out, be ready for that price tag. It's, it's up there. Overall, it was a great experience. I loved getting the box. It was really fun to see everything that she picked out for me. I'm gonna keep the items that I like. I'm gonna send back what I don't, and I'll probably do it again. Not anytime soon, because it was a lot. It was a lot of clothes, and I just don't need all of those clothes, but I found a few good ones, and I'm happy that I experienced it and could share everything with you guys. I hope this video was helpful to you in some way, please leave a comment. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't, what you thought of some of the outfits and the dresses. I'm curious about your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!